Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie. It's the Ustawi segment. And today we're having a conversation on getting unstuck. Um, our annual conference is up um, on August 6th, um, 2022. And the conversation is around access and accessing the future. And it's um, equipped for impact. But I love it because it's our annual reminder to get unstuck. And I have two amazing women on set. One is new. I think, Fanny, you've never been here before. No, I haven't. So, Karibu Sara, if you just introduce yourself to my guests and what you do, and Jackie, and then we can continue with the conversation. Hi, everyone. My name is Fanny Nyamunga, newly Miyawa. Um, I am with, with the Unstuck <laughs> team. I help with the technical bit. But um, outside of this, in the marketplace, I'm an investment professional. So, thank you for coming. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Jackie Kimel. I'm also a member of the Unstuck team, and I am an event planner and manager. Thank yeah, you. one of the best event planners oh, and true story. Amazing, true story <laughs> about <laughs> event planning. Thank She'll you. drive you crazy, but she really is a great, which I think is what event planners are supposed to do. Thank so you. Um, you two have been serving on the Unstuck leadership team now for two years. Every team now is serving for two years. Yeah. So you've done this for two years. Um, so what are your unstucking moments or things that you'd want to share with us? Or when I say Unstuck and we've been planning about access for the future, what comes to mind? So for me, Unstuck and maybe the Unstuck conference, so for us, because we are part of the team, there's unstucking that happens before the conference itself. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's in an area you didn't even know that you were stuck. Mm -hmm. But what you could tell was that there was lack of movement. Mm -hmm. So before even you get to the conference, just because of the people you interact with and of course how you interact with God and the Holy Spirit, because that's what he does, mm -hmm. he, it happens to you before you can share to others. Yes. And, so mm -hmm. that's what I really like about the Unstuck conference and the process leading up to the Unstuck conference. Amazing. Yeah. That we get unstuck first. We get unstuck. We always so think that ways. we're delivering something for other people, yes. but unstucking happens with us. And it's always amazing that it happens every year. Every year. Jackie, do you want to weigh into that? And I know you want to say who's coming and you are uh, the moderator for this particular session. So take Thank it away. You. Thank us. you for Salangi. Mm. Uh, just what Penny had said, I think uh, one thing I really enjoyed is being part of a team and a community as well. Mm -hmm. And that you grow together and you sharpen, it's iron sharpens iron. Mm -hmm. So you grow together. And also there's the, um, I remember Posanji used this before about being um, equipped in the stretching. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. find that you are challenged, but you work together as a team collectively mm -hmm. towards growth and just movement as Penny had said. Mm -hmm. uh, so this year we have an amazing uh, a group of panel and speakers for this year. And our theme, as Poslanche has mentioned, is access to the future equipped for impact. And uh, I think it's just be showcasing uh, conversations from leaders and just to help you give solutions. And this year we're looking especially at technology and innovation. Mm -hmm. So we have our keynote speaker, Dr. Wale Akinyemi, who is a Chief Transformation Officer, Power Talks, and he'll be presenting a voice in the area of marketplace and church. Then we have Maudo Jalo, a very exceptional mm -hmm. young man, who's an economic development consultant, and he presents a voice in the area of industry and development. Mm -hmm. On our panel, my goodness, our panel. Powerful panel. Very powerful. powerful. And it turned out all female. Oh, all female, female panel, panel. Exactly. I was like, oh my goodness, I kept trying to insert one man, one man, one man. I gave up. The Lord knew. Yeah, you just go with the flow, like you say. Sometimes you go with the flow. Right? It's true. Yeah. yeah. So we have Dr. Tekla Mohoro, who is a lecturer amazing. at the Center for Urban Studies in the School of Architecture and Building Sciences at the mm -hmm. Jomo Kenyatta University mm -hmm. of Agriculture and Technology, and some of her accolades, amazing woman. She's the first female doctorate graduate at JKU at School of Architecture and Building Sciences. Mm -hmm. She's also the founding member of the JKU at Center for Urban Studies a postdoctoral fellow at the wow. University of Witwatersrand in Johannesburg, oh, South Africa, exactly. and also a mentor for high school and university students. My goodness. <laughs> she's already she's spreading a, yes, the love. Yeah, she is. I like it. As, you, as you climb, you lift, right? So I like that she's already taking care of the ones who are coming into into the marketplace. So Indeed. that's also the mentorship is very important. And she's very passionate about, about that, that too. Yeah. Mm. And about urban cities, because I was wondering, you know, um, like her, her, her conversation is around urban, the urban planning of cities. Yes. But I was shocked at how, well, I shouldn't have been so shocked, but I was surprised at how that affects governance. Wow. You know, so that's a, a way of unstacking our thinking. Yeah. How are we planning our cities? 
and how is this going to end in our in our governance so i find that an amazing conversation and then she's such a brilliant uh, person she one is. of the people who's really gotten us stuck is dr tekla so she's usually like keep that woman away from me but <laughs> I, I am not coming i'm not but but i'm so grateful that, that she she put her best foot forward and came forward because i think she's she's done so much you know mm-hmm. and it will unstuck people you know also women to try amazing things she's the it's first true. female doctorate is it the first the first uh, female, female doctorate graduate yeah. of, uh, architecture of architecture and, and building, building sciences that's yeah. amazing that's a big win and of course even when she got it she didn't even tell us so yeah. that was <laughs> she's very humble so we here yeah, she wouldn't even say anything we were like we are celebrating this wow. is a big win you know it, it so is. i hope it yeah. helps somebody to get unstuck in terms of sure. trying as what's well what's possible what's possible yeah. you know to go out there as women and do it and and achieve great things and be unapologetic about it. And I think what I love about Dr. Tekla as well is that it's it's, it's for it's not to she doesn't lord it over people. That's why I feel like her her accolades and her achievements are hers mm. and she owns them. But there's bringing that expertise to your panel of experts. That's true, mom. That's and true. I think there's something that she, she, when she spoke, when she talked about, it was in pursuit of her love for, for knowledge, right? Mm. So this is someone who just yes. wants to know more. And then she's found areas in life that she can actually apply this knowledge, you know? Because I think sometimes we learn, especially in this, I guess, Kenyan system, when you're just told you need to learn, and then mm. you just need to learn to be able to do this. But she's actually now deploying or engaging everything that she's learned into what we see here today. So a lot of the things that she's actually working on right now is because of the, the knowledge that she pursued. So I'm exactly. actually quite interested. I'm excited about that as well. Indeed. And that yeah. really just symbolizes being equipped for impact because yeah. she's impactful in her area of influence as well. Yeah, mm. she went and got yeah. equipped first and then she was able to yes. create a large yes. impact, you know. Mm. Yeah. Because her fellowship as well was is on, I was amazed, it's on, they're studying three cities, Johannesburg, I think Nairobi and Accra. And this mm. is all in the area of urban planning, but it's effects on governance, on leadership, on everything, mm-hmm. how we plan our cities. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. So an amazing conversation as well to have. I will, I will be. Yeah. And yeah. also, we also have um, two more amazing panelists as well. Mm-hmm. We have Mia Kaptuya, mm-hmm. okay. founder and CEO of Quartier Solutions, and mm-hmm. she'll be addressing the future of work and workforce planning. Mm-hmm. And I think one thing we know about Maisa, she's very passionate about she the youth. Is yeah. so passionate. Extremely passionate about Also youth. knowledgeable. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she knows her stuff. Yes, you know, the first true. time she told me about workforce planning, we we're already getting unstuck. I was like, what is that? <laughs> like, what is, is what? it such a thing? Is it a child? What are you doing? Yeah. But she explained to me, and one, one of the things that I love that comes out in the panel is her expertise. Yeah. And that she knows, he, she knows her stuff. She knows why we need to plan. Yeah. You see, this also also about planning. It's it's and you have to plan your workforce. You have to think about it in the future. Mm-hmm. You have to think about what we need, the future of work. Where is work going? Where are we moving? Mm-hmm. That's our equipping for impact. Because if you don't understand where your workforce and what you need to do for the workforce and where it's happening, then you're gonna get it wrong. Mm-hmm. And I think what I like about what how May did it mm-hmm. was that she put it in context. Mm-hmm. So again, just touching on what people can expect during the conference is that you'll find yourself saying, okay, but we're used to this way of working, but we're seeing all these different people, what you call the gig, the gig. The gigsters. Call, yeah, the gigsters. <laughs> they don't, how do yes. I work with them? How do they fit into what I'm trying to do? Because at the end of the day, people are still trying to build their businesses and their entrepreneurial um, areas. But then now she's telling you, in this context, this is how you can still plan. And you know, she threw a challenge. Yeah. She said the corporate sector is not jumping into mm-hmm. all the gig, gigging, gigging, gigsters, gigging, all the gigs. Yeah. Yes. The corporate sector, sector sort of stepped away from that. Yeah. But I would really love them. And I pray that they watch this unstuck and um, and participate, but you, we need to get unstuck from yeah, that. That's you see, true. that's how even the digital age caught a lot of people, and especially, let me talk about the media houses, unaware. Mm, yeah. they, everybody said this digital age is coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Everyone is ignoring it. I think we need to take the warning from May yeah. that this whole working with the gig economy and gigs, does it call them gig stars? Yes, gig stars, yeah. yes. It's <laughs> so important. And she said the corporate sector is missing it. So yeah. you can't miss it. So corporate sector, you have to jump onto this bandwagon and see where it's taking us because it's the future of work. That's true, mom. And especially looking at the key component of uh, after acquiring knowledge strategy, which is really brilliant in some of our discussions we'll have with the panel. And our third panel is actually, and looking at the area of fintech technology mm-hmm. and the future of technology, we have Sheila Chain, mm-hmm. Senior Manager, Performance Marketing and Growth, and PESA Safaricom PLC.
and she'll be talking about this innovation and African-led innovations and the impact we've had and the future of fintech technology. What does that mean for us moving as a country? In in and it applies in every sector, in workforce, in, in learning, and we have all the panels jumping on that discussion. And what yeah. is the future of that as well? And every component had technology. Oh, yes. And I think what I like, <coughs> in fact, you just touched on it. I like the way technology just cuts across the board. Because yes. for you to work with the gigsters, you have to have your technology. They're not going to come and have one-on-ones all the time. You know, mm. you have to have that already um, in your processes, right? I think I was also mentioning to you, Jackie, that um, when we had to visit some of these startup companies, none of them had like a, a fixed office. Mm. Like they're all working with village. It's called um, village, it's not village creative. Um, Anyway, there's this, this um, where everyone can just come, this workspace is like everyone, yes, yes, everyone yes, can yes. just come in and just plug sorry, in. The, the garage, sorry, the yes, gar yes, Nairobi yes, garage, yes. yeah. yeah. So, so you're like meeting people and they're working with other people. And then that comes with its own terms and conditions because when you have your own space, you know you can take photos and film anything. However, with these other guys, everything is being costed. Mm -hmm. You want to use this corner, that's a cost. You want to use that corridor, wow. that's a cost. So then people have actually now changed how they're costing their, their environments and, and everything is different. So you have to also consider that as you're working with the gigsters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very true. Wow. Very true. And I do want to weigh into that, yeah. into Sheila. She was really oh, a, she was a ball of energy. Right. She, she was. fit right in. She very was. knowledgeable as well. I'm amazed at all these. When I look at leaders like that, when I was at the panel and um, the keynote speakers, of course, it's it gives me hope mm -hmm. that there's a future yeah. for this continent. It's a great future because we have great leaders. Yeah. That was just a, I don't even know, a fraction of the wisdom, the knowledge, the expertise that we have that should really ensure that we don't we don't stay Sleep stuck, we don't get stuck, we keep moving. Because that's the thing, like you said, get, uh, being unstuck is about movement. Yeah. When, and how you know you're stuck is when you stop moving. That's true, Mom, it's true. Mm -hmm. and I think uh, having having Sheila on board and representing Safaricom PLC, and it's encouraging to see corporates who are taking responsibility mm -hmm. in how to train and equip, um, you know, the youth especially, and looking at different products that will help them transcend into their next as well and being equipped. Mm -hmm. So I, I love that Sheila was also not only in her professional capacity, but even in personal capacity, she is also equipping and mentoring young people mm -hmm. in different areas. And she, I remember she said she was very, she told me, Jackie, I'm very passionate about technology yeah. and the impact it has on people and just giving everyday solutions. So it'll be an amazing discussion for everyone to just mm -hmm. plug in. One of the other things that I, as we engaged in the whole unstuck process that really spoke to me was that anything and everything is possible. Yeah. That you that a lot of our panelists, are, no, all our pas panelists are passionate. Um, Sheila brought out the, the conversation on purpose with me and that she works for a company that is full of purpose and wants purpose to be a key factor. And we're seeing that a lot in all that's taking place, even the gigsters and the gig yeah. economy yeah. is all about a, a, a purpose, like I have a purpose and I'm achieving something. But what I've loved, because when I was researching on the conversation around access, and the future, because it's accessing the future, is the possibilities. I mean, the things we were talking about there were like, what, you know, air, air, is it um, air taxis? Mm -hmm. um, the living, I was wondering, why do we have to have living concrete? Living concrete, okay, fine. Bricks that are warm and keep warm and insulation. Um, talking about food and what are we going to do about food and floating farms because the world is increasing and they say they're going to be two billion more people by the year. 2050 yeah. but that just electric cars I actually saw one in the in the u.s and i was like you know it, it nothing is far-fetched anymore yeah and that's what i feel that this access in the future is about nothing is off limits there are no limitations you can dream you can think big you can try because people are coming up with things that if you looked at and read about them they sound like this is crazy but some of those this is crazy things are actually becoming a an yeah. actualization. So I think it's a stage to dream and to really think mm -hmm. and to be passionate and to be full of purpose. But what I think, just touching on what you said, what mm -hmm. takes someone from actually achieving some of these big dreams is actually the purpose bit because it drives mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Like you said, sometimes you're sitting here and you, you know you have this idea, but the thing that makes you feel like I need to wake up and do something is that you feel like it's your purpose. So without it, you're not able to actually breathe. You know, when something is your purpose, everything mm -hmm. about you speaks to it. Yes. So I think that's um, kind of if people are wondering if I have these ideas, what's the difference between one idea and another person actually running with that idea? Because mm -hmm. you know, people sit down and I'm like, oh, but I thought of that. 
mm -hmm. the difference was that this person took it and ran with it because this they had it. the burden because it was their purpose. Mm -hmm. And I love purpose and I love passion yeah. and I'm going to add people mm -hmm. because I've always found in my own life, sometimes when I want to execute something and I feel stuck and like this is not going to work, then I have my conversations in my head, what if PowerPoint presentations, it's not going to work, but people, mm -hmm. somehow people and having the right people that I can then present to and say, mm -hmm. do you think this is possible? Can we do this as yeah. another people wow. possible possibility yeah. but that now when you mix when you have that perfect mix of purpose passion people and possibilities then you go out and execute mm. and when yeah. the people aspect can be like a think tank so they help you flesh yes. it out the things that you hadn't thought about mm. the things that are literally just in your head that mm. cannot happen in life mm. but then because you flesh it out and you think it through it becomes an actual thing mm. it becomes Jackie? Yes, I think also just add on to about people as a resource. Uh, like in the events field, we always say that uh, the success of any good event is the strength of your team yes. and equipping that team as well. And, yeah. uh, and also when you look at many of the master classes today and across every profession, they always talk about how you have to learn to trust mm. and empower your team mm. and help them along your journey and actualizing mm. that journey. So in this I think this season that we call season of disruption, you yes. know, are we being equipped, are we getting the right resources from be it people or uh, financial or just, you know, right marketplace, right environment and positioning? Mm. Are we being intentional in that as well? Mm. I think it really came across very well from the ladies, about, apart from purpose, also intentionality. Yes. Yes. How intentional are we in moving forward and being equipped and how can we make an impact? Which is a great conversation we're yeah, having nowadays is, yeah. is how mm. impactful are you? in your community. And I feel like the impact, I don't know why I keep feeling like you need to own it as yours. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't know why, maybe we were in a generation where we wanted the impact to be, everybody sees it. Mm -hmm. oh, it's yeah. your impact. What is your purpose yeah. in this world? You do what you need to do. To do. Yeah. And stop thinking about everybody else and how, how you have to make it impactful for them. Yeah. I think if, from all the conversations I had, it had to be impactful for you. And then if it affects everybody else and they are full of impact, that's great. Because some of those ideas are crazy. They yeah. really are. Mm -hmm. But somebody just say, okay, let's do this. Yeah. I mean, I love the fact that I can deliver, I can order food off an app and it arrives. In another age, we were like, oh, what is that? No, but some, maybe they just wanted the food to arrive for them. I don't know, but we've all um, benefited it. Um, I remember something like M-Pesa going down. Oh, what? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the drama was excess. I was like, my goodness, we have relied on technology to that True. extent. Yeah. True. I didn't even know what to do with myself. Just one day I lost my phone. I left my phone somewhere. Yeah. So I go home. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> because I'm like, my you phone is somewhere. I think like, I need to call. Uh, oh. I can't. <laughs> How do I get my phone back? Short of going there to drive there, and even like when you leave without your phone, the, everybody needs a phone. I, there's another powerful book I must, I, I hope I remember to put in the comments because I can't remember now. But even the man who said, let's go do phones in Africa. Wow. They said they're crazy, but I don't even have food. <laughs> By the way, what, what, for, them for? what are you talking about? But I love people who are. They just dream big. And then now Africans are using phones to get food. So yes. you see, you don't have to, yes. there's, no, there's no process. Anything is possible. It's not like it has oh to be God. A, then B, then C. Yes. Yeah. But it's absolutely amazing. But yeah. I'll tell you another thing, and I want you each to come up with your closing remarks. But one thing that really came out as we had the conversation on, on, on accessing the future and getting unstuck is that question of it doesn't matter who gets the glory. Mm -hmm. Because you see, one person had a vision, let's go to Africa and sell food. Guys laughed. They said, you are completely crazy. But he's not even the person who picked it up and took it to level and level and level. Other people executed it. So I feel that's another thing for accessing the future and getting unstuck. That you may have an idea that is supposed to be impactful for you, full of purpose, full of passion, full of being intentional, but it may not be for you. And it may not be you who takes it to other levels. Because there have been a, a significant, a, a, a series of players mm. that have knocked this ball out of the park. Mm. That's true. But that's the freedom of passion and purpose rather than it being selfish. I don't know whether it makes sense, mm. yes, but I does. really felt yeah. that. I felt that was a big takeout for me from that conversation. Um, I mean, the other thing you've actually just um, touched on as well is when you touched on the master classes previously, for you to learn anything about a certain thing, you had to enroll for school, where do they do it? But then now you can, have a, you can learn something about everything. Mm. So you can actually learn to equip yourself for that impact that you want. If you just, if you do like, a, you know, what's missing? What don't I have? Why can't I create the impact that I want? Mm. There are resources out there thanks to technology. Mm. You know, so you can find ways yeah. to add that little 
that thing that you need. If you need to know about social media, you can learn. If you need to know about phones, you can learn. If you need to know how to strategize, how to do your vision, those are things. And I think that's what the master classes is all about. Trying to bring in these levels of these resources of equipping yourselves to the masters as well. That's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. Jackie? Yes, I think for, for my parting shot would be about uh, three things. Mm -hmm. uh, first about uh, timing and seasons. Mm -hmm. I think being very cognizant of the time and season that you are in mm -hmm. and being at peace with the position of where you are at that time because everyone's race is different. Yeah, everybody's everyone's race, race is different. different. And I think the third one is just being um, mindful I think mindful and aware of your surroundings and your situation and just keeping the course, being faithful to the course because everyone's journey is different. But at the end of the day, it's you making an impact, whether it's in a small space, a big space, but you're living out your purpose intentionally and with impact. That would be my parting shot. Do you have anything else to say, Twenny? Wow. Um, again, it's still about being unstuck. You'll be unstuck in ways that you didn't even know you were stuck. So be mm. open to that. And the thing that I like about this conference is that it touches on different elements mm -hmm. of our lives. So you have mm -hmm. technology, you have urban, you have the youth, you have um, you know, finances and all that. And then you see how that plugs into yourself. So for us, we see roads and we get excited, but now Dr. Tekla will tell us about how all this comes together. And you know, so you start to see life in a different way. So sometimes being unstuck is just opening up a different part of your mind. Mm -hmm. And then even as you look at the world, you, you sit in a different way and then maybe that's when some of these solutions come up because your eyes are opened in a different way. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for me, I feel like I'm now going to, going somewhere else, but I just sense it in my spirit. You know, accessing the future, um, equipped for impact, is even as simple as when I was doing my research, is I could fit it all into the things I wanted to say, but it's something like financial freedom. Mm -hmm. You're not going to access the future if you're not financially savvy, mm -hmm. saving, investing, thinking about the future, and even health. I think health is a big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got to look after ourselves so that we can be in that future, because mm -hmm. you know the future is going to come and you're not there, that's going to be another problem. So I just felt like, you know, you can make it as simple as you want or as complicated mm -hmm. as you want. And legacy. legacy. My parting shot is legacy, because I'm in a season where I'm coaching visions to life, mm -hmm. and that's my access to the future. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed that. See you on the 6th of August, 2022, where we'll be having the Unstuck Annual Conference, our annual reminder that we need to get unstuck. And this year's theme is access, for accessing the future, equipped for impact. God bless you greatly, guys. See you on the 6th.